Residents of Murphy hit the streets earlier tonight to rally opposition to a proposed wastewater treatment plant there. They say a new state law is making it a lot harder to stop the unwelcome development in their neighborhood, and that includes a very popular North Texas tourist destination. Once again tonight, here's our J.D. Miles. Here in Murphy, you'll find these in a lot of neighborhoods. Homeowners don't want a proposed sewage treatment center backed up to their houses, but they say they're running into roadblocks trying to stop it because the plant would be built right on the other side of the city's border. Carolyn Mobius works late into the evening spreading her message on the streets around her home because she believes the fate of her neighborhood depends on it. This is not something we want for a community. The Murphy homeowner has lived for 12 years on the city's far north border, but soon the undeveloped land on the other side of her property could be home to a wastewater treatment plant. Because the reason people have come out here is more for the nature and for the open spaces. I mean, we all know that um, wastewater treatment plants do have their issues and they smell and sometimes the, they don't work like they're supposed to. Andrew Malseski also doesn't want the sewage facility, as well as 1,400 other residents who have joined a community group opposed to it. The creek is actually right there. They are concerned that it will pollute and ruin the appeal of Maxwell Creek, which runs past schools, trails, and athletic fields. Uh, the city of Murphy is built around the creek. We're certainly fearful of, you know, property values will definitely go down. The proposed site is an unincorporated part of Collin County just on the edge of South Fork Ranch. In the past, cities like Murphy and nearby Parker could have used what's known as extraterritorial jurisdiction to exercise control over what's built outside their limits in areas that could be annexed. But the state legislature recently passed a law to protect property owners from land grabbing cities. Now those property owners have a lot more power to do what they want with their land. Well, now, unfortunately, it's gone way over to the other side. A meeting is scheduled for Monday night at South Fork Ranch that will give these residents for the first time a chance to directly question the state's environmental commission. If the state ends up approving this, residents plan to go to court as a last resort. In Murphy tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. President